Carvana shares still rallying. Alex Coffey's got the latest. Alex, what's up? Yeah, RBC Capital uh, analyst Brad Erickson essentially throwing in the towel on his bear case for Carvana, <laughs> talking about how the company's uh, ability to access capital has uh, gotten a lot easier with the share price recovery. Uh, and also talks about a clear improvement in the unit economics that uh, simply has just taken most of the risks that so many uh, were focused on for this company off the table. Upgrade the stock to sector perform from underperform, doubled the price target to 90. Uh, RBC asks, you know, what has really changed in the story? Uh, they talk about how the company's management has done a good job of managing expectations uh, and uh, is now aiming for more meaningful growth. Uh, they intend on uh, further increasing the gross profit per unit uh, while maintaining a fixed cost leverage. And they said that their ability to pay off the debt uh, has gotten a lot better uh, as well because of the better uh, improvements in uh, profitability per car. Uh, they have $7.4 billion in debt that they're uh, you know, basically scheduled to pay off over seven years. Uh, a couple other things that they note too is it's still a highly shorted stock. We know uh, once these things get moving, that can add more kind of uh, kindling to the fire or gas on the fire even uh, to get these moves even more, more, more and more momentum. So while they have that $90 price target, they do see uh, the potential for the stock to test 100 just because uh, that velocity can really feed on itself. So they talk about that as well. But this just seems like a story that um, the fundamental picture uh, was seen as dire. It was dire, but they kind of pulled the rabbit out of the hat, if you will, Oliver, and, and uh, were able to recover while managing those expectations. And now with the share price recovery, it really changes uh, kind of the, the dynamics surrounding this company. Okay. Wow. Bulls winning, bears caving. What better way to embody the market's uh, FOMO embrace of the last couple of weeks than this comeback in Carvana. However, that being said, I think also probably does deserve some credit for some of the financial kind of uh, improvements that they've made, even though they still have, I think, a lot of proving to do on their kind of role in the auto sales market in general. And do they need to still trim costs associated with the way they sell their vehicles? They deserve some credit, probably, for some of this. I mean, because people were talking bankruptcy a year ago. That, that's the story, Oliver. It was so binary uh, at the lows. It was yeah. this company's going to zero. Um, it managed to not do that. And now the, now the story is completely different. They were able to improve some of those fundamentals. Uh, and now you have shorts getting a little bit more worried. And that adds more buying pressure to the upside. And again, that velocity can create more. OK. All right. Thanks, Alex. Definitely building on itself here. Up another 10 bucks almost, Carvana, wow.